Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hassan, and you're listening to the Squash Buckler Diaries podcast, the daily epic fantasy podcast about Joy Shelley's life in the dream. Joy Shelley's the girl who lives in the dream. And the reason you are getting this story from the author with the bad accent that you may not always understand, and, you know, who can't act as well as an actual actor or actress. Actually, this first season should be told by an actress because the Red Dragon is female. The reason you're getting this from me is that I think in the long term you would appreciate when this is as big uh, and as popular as I believe this would become, this could become, you would appreciate having heard this firsthand from the author and having heard like little stories about where the stories come from and why they actually appear and uh you know what's the meaning behind some of those things and me teasing you about stuff that's coming and etc etc and i think that's worth it like i remember stories about um jk rowling uh, going through uh how, how did you come up with those names uh, for the characters and going through a uh, cemetery and just picking up names. That's a story you wanted to hear, right? So whatever the equivalent of that is here, you are getting it now. And speaking of which, uh, this episode shows something I've talked to you, uh, uh, with you about before. So, Remember, I told you, there, there's a reason I know I can do this for the years it'll take to go through Joy's entire life. Uh, that I will always find interest in uh, stories because I don't write for uh, anyone. I write this for my family. I don't write this for you. I haven't committed financially to do this. I haven't got any money to do it. Uh, this is my project, and I know I'll, I will do it, not only because I have the whole story, not because I know myself and I've uh, finished, you know, projects and books before, but uh, but because this is so long, uh, and I know I can only write whatever it is I connect to at the time, uh, I want to be truthful in my writing. I can only be truthful in my writing. I know that going through her entire life, I will be able to go through uh, anything I want. I can have uh, comedy, I can have tragedy, I can have uh, any kind of genre that I want. And uh, this is an example. In the last arc, uh, in which we've explored many uh, aspects of Joy's life and Joy and Ripple and, and things that may ripple in her future, we also have a mystery. It's not a it's not a locked room mystery. We know who killed the evil fairy forest king, and we know why General Hawk killed him. And, and we know what with with a feather, with his feather in uh, the evil fairy forest king's neck. But General Hawk was in his cell, and the evil fairy forest king was in his cell far away, and he couldn't even see General Hawk. So how did he do it? Last chance now to figure it out by yourselves before I tell you. In any case, sometimes I like to write mysteries, and sometimes I like to write comedies, and sometimes I like to write science fiction, sometimes I like to write adventure, etc., etc., and sometimes I like to write drama, uh, and sometimes I, I like to write many things because I feel many things at different times. 
in the past, it has led to me not being able to sustain uh, an audience because I wrote, would write science fiction and then a uh, science fiction book, which people liked. And then the next thing I did was I wrote a comedy for children in a theater. And people, uh, people who liked the science fiction didn't actually like the comedy because it's not for them. Uh, and people who liked the comedy didn't like the next science fiction book I wrote because it's not for them. Um, so I think this thing allows me to do everything in the same story because it's a long, long story. It's a story of someone's life and a life isn't just one story. It's many. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's go to the episode. Episode 207, The Death of the Evil Fairy Forest King. Joy's age five, told by the Red Dragon. It is time I told you how the evil fairy Forest King died. I have told you of the events that led to his death. I have told you how his behavior affected the five-year-old Dragon Lil, and I have told you how she discovered his body. But it is something I should relate, because you need to know what happened in the belly of Bunny's revenge. The prisoners in the infinite prison are all villains captured by Dragon Lil and Dragon Father during their adventures. When Dragon Father is away in his waking world, the villains become Dragon Lil's companions. What does that mean? You will see. In this story, I relate only what I've heard, for my sharp dragon eyes cannot see past the turn of the stairs into the infinite prison. Fellow prisoners, General Hawk's voice rose and echoed through the corridor. He spoke only when Dragon Lil had been asleep in her cabin for four hours or so. You have seen what the evil fairy Forest King had done to the pirate girl. There were multiple movements inside the cells. The prisoners rarely spoke to each other. You have seen the seeds of doubt, he spoke loudly, that he has planted within her more movements. What do you think you are doing? This was the evil fairy Forest King's voice. You know how dangerous it is for her, do you not? Small murmurs. You know he will not stop. More murmurs. General Hawk, what do you think you are? We must not let our pirate girl be harmed. Now his voice had reached a peak. General Hawk, do you agree? Now there are grunts. I cannot hear you. Who agrees with me that she should not be hurt? I, me, never, yes! Dozens of answers came simultaneously. General? We must save her. But we have no weapons, cried a voice I did not recognize. I have a weapon, General Hawk said. Say your names loudly and I will pass it on to you. Dozens of villains called out their names. General Hawk handed his weapon to the next cell. Get it closer, he said. General Hawk, you wouldn't dare. Closer. The prisoners were the prisoners were now rattling their cages, causing a louder and louder cacophony, one that drowned the voices. Closer. General Hawk. Next. Stop it right now. Until suddenly the cacophony stopped. I have it, a familiar voice said. Do it, General Hawk commanded. You are all being absurd, the evil fairy forest king exclaimed. That small thing cannot hurt me. Ah! A bang was heard. The evil fairy forest king had hit the ground. The steel bars of the cells rattled all at once for a few seconds, then stopped. The only sound that could be heard until Dragonlil woke up a few hours later was that of the evil fairy forest king slowly choking and dying. As for me, I was hardened by the fact that Dragon Lil had protectors I had not known about in this harsh world of dreams. Told by the Red Dragon Hashtags Joy, General Hawk, Killing, The Infinite Prison, The Infinite Corridor, Villains, The Evil Forest Fairy King. And so, this was the missing piece of how General Hawk killed the Evil Fairy Forest King. And there are so many things here as well, so many ripples to be had. Over time, Joy has earned protectors, and she doesn't even know it. So, a change of tone tomorrow, 
As I told you in the beginning, different tones, different times, all of it is part of Joy's life. So join us tomorrow for episode 208, The Stowaways. And now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squash Buckler Diaries more. The Squash Buckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website because the girl in the dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N at gmail.com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Howardick. My name is Guy Hasson and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more.